Hello, everyone. This is Jen. I am super excited that you guys are here. We have a lot of people on this webinar tonight, and I am excited as well. Um, this is one of those topics that is um, fresh, hot off the press, and Steve is definitely the expert on it. And so I myself have my piece of paper and my pen ready to take a lot of notes and learn these things because I am uh, – using Facebook ads, but not to the extent of what he's going to teach us tonight. And I don't know about you guys, but social media is now like the big thing in how you're getting customers and how you're retaining customers. And he is going to teach us some fantastic ways that we can reach out to people and start to build those relationships, which is what I love is building the relationships. So they stay lifelong customers. And so again, I am crazy excited about this. We're going to talk about action steps to recruiting a wildly successful team online from scratch. And so, Steve, I am super excited to have you here tonight. Thank you so much for doing this for us. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, well, let's uh, let's kick this off right. I'm going to tell you just a little bit about me, and then we're going to go right into the training. But I've been uh, teaching social media to direct sellers since 2010, which in the social media world makes you really, really old. And there's been a lot of changes. But I've written social media training programs for direct selling corporate offices. I've spoken at uh, their annual meetings. I've been working with over 8,000 direct sellers since that beginning time. So what you're going to see here tonight is what I call streetwise and proven, time-tested, because every recommendation we make, we have reps that are going out there and taking it to the online streets and giving us feedback, and then we put that together with the absolute best and latest of what's going on in the world of social media. And that's actually what's happening right now. We're going to include, there's, there's literally an all-new capability that's been going on with Facebook Messenger Marketing. But what I want to do is I want you to have paper and pen ready because I'm going to give you five must-have action steps, things that you can absolutely put into place in your business starting tonight, just from what you're going to hear today. Now, this Facebook Messenger marketing, if I want you to think about Messenger, that's just that inbox, right, on Facebook where you get messages and you reply to messages. Well, we're going to expand what that is and the capabilities and the ways that you can use it. And you see on the screen here, it says bye-bye friend requests. One of the best things that we're going to show you is how you're going to get new leads, perfect leads for you coming to you and already in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Now, that's really big and really different because so many times you meet leads, whether you meet them at a show and you get a phone number and you call them, but they don't recognize your number and you never get a call back or you're on social media. You're maybe you met them somewhere. You try to move them over, send them a friend request. They don't accept the friend request. You've got these amazing leads and just getting into that one on one conversation shouldn't be a roadblock. So bye bye friend requests. <laughs> we're we're going to show you exactly what you can do. Now, we're going to go over a ton of case studies, but here are two to get us started, all right? And I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint as I talk about these in terms of what the first must-have action step is. The first one is a rep that she actually replaced her teacher's salary in three months' time. Now, she's a music teacher outside of the business, and she chose to reach out to other music teachers online. Now, the second one down here is a rep. His name's uh, Mark Hildebrand, and he earns $50,000 a year. He's a full-time police officer, but on the side working two hours a day, on average, he said 14 to 15 hours a week, he earns $50,000 a year. Now, he chose to online reach out to people who are just like him, other police officers. So that's a big hint in terms of focusing in on a target prospect, a perfect customer and team member for your business. Now, one of the things I'm going to do, and we promise this, is that at the end of the presentation here, I'm going to give away one of our most successful trainings. It's the incredibly successful Facebook Like Ads Made Easy. It's a whole guide, not only how you create new fans on your page, low, low cost, 
Facebook ads that go out that create, attract fans, get new likes on the page, but then how you can use them uniquely to create new prospects for your business. And we have people, we have teams of over 10,000 that are using this strategy alone to drive all of their prospects and lead generation. Now, this is a, a member of the university. Uh, Sabrina, she said, I have, I've added over 500 new likes to my page just by targeting my niche, this perfect customer. Like I said, with the music teacher and the police officer. So again, I'm the president of the Practical Social Media University. And one of the things that I'm going to let you know a little bit about my background is that I spent 23 years in marketing. I was with some of the top interactive agencies, advertising agencies in the United States. I've worked uh, at the, my last post at an interactive agency. I was the director of client service. I handled the Nike business, the Visa business, the Miller Brewing business. I was the director of strategic planning on the advertising account for Mazda Motors of America. I've had my own brand strategy consulting business where I, I worked with individual entrepreneurs all the way through companies that three and a half billion in sales. Now I bring this up because I take the world of social media and the world of direct selling and I say, what can we do that is going to make the absolute most of your valuable time? So what are the few things that you can do that will make the biggest difference in your business? And you're going to see those here tonight. <laughs> so I'm also going to talk a little bit later about how if you want to get my direct support as a member of the university and get faster results, longer lasting results, avoid the mistakes that the over 8,400 reps in the industry have made before you that I've worked with, then I'll tell you a little bit about how you can join the university. But let's get right into the training here. Now, here's another case study. This is uh, Mary Van Dorn. And she reached out at the very beginning, the first couple of years of her business to 100% her warm market, people that she already knew. Now, she made an abrupt change because that warm market was drying up. And she said it was getting harder and harder to run her business. She felt more and more awkward. It was just embarrassing calling people and trying to, you know, get into and leverage a conversation about the business and, you know, the products that she was selling. So she made an abrupt change and she did the five must have action steps we're going to talk here about tonight. And she went from getting zero new leads from a cold market, right? Because she had all warm market. She was, but that was drying up to over two. 200 new cold market leads every month, people that she had never met before. And these are people that came to her, raised their hand online and said, hey, I want to be a part of what you're doing. Now, Mary is, uh, she's a woman who is diabetic and she's chosen to reach out to other women online who are diabetic too. So this does a few amazing things. This is how you attract this whole perfect perfect lead to you, what Jen and I talked about right at the beginning. And this, these results are all before she started doing this whole new Facebook messenger marketing that we're going to get in, into here tonight. She got an 18% bump in leads over and above the 200 plus that she gets every single month. So some pretty exciting results. Here are the three things that she did right away. Please write these down. First off, she brought focus to her business instead of trying to be everything to everybody, which means you don't really appeal to anyone on, on a very good basis at all. She chose, you know what? I know this whole niche market of women who are diabetic. I live it. And when she reaches out to them with low cost Facebook ads through a single ad, she recreates trust and credibility, the kind that she had with her warm market, because they look at her and they say, you get it. You understand our life. You're an insider. So all of a sudden, because we know we have to have not only relationships formed and generated to close people, but we have to have a volume of relationships. So that's the second part here is scale. How do you get scale into your business? Instead of one-on-one -on -one manually reaching out to people or approaching people at a show or in the grocery store or at church or picking your kids up at school or wherever it is, you only have so much time. So what Mary does to get scale is she does low-cost 
Facebook ads, and she draws people to her irresistible offers. She does free groups. She creates a Facebook group. She has a free group for all of her niche online. And then she also does a group, which she calls her paid group or her challenge group, where they have to buy a product pack in order to be a part of it. So that's how she starts to sell product. And then through the free and the product groups, she gets so many new relationships started that she sees and identifies people that are engaging in those groups, how they're working with others. She identifies the top people that she think would make the best team members for her. And that's a whole recruitment strategy. So she focuses on a perfect niche just like her. She brings scale. She gets herself in front of tens of thousands of other diabetic women online that are just like her, that look at her with trust and credibility. Now, the third part here is marketing. And you might say, well, Steve, that you already talked about the low-cost Facebook ads, right? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how low-cost in just a minute. I'm going to give you some examples here, very low-cost. But there's three elements to marketing. The first is ads. The second one is the message. And that goes back to the opposite of trying to be everything to everybody. If you're just focusing on people who are just like you, that you get, right, then everything that you do can be much more targeted to them, much more personalized to them. This whole idea of attraction marketing, you've probably heard of that term before. How do you attract people to you if you don't have anything in common with them? Well, all of a sudden, all your messages, all your offers, all your follow-up, everything becomes so much easier because you've got this built-in relationship of trust and credibility with them. And they look at you and they say, you know what? If you're doing this and you've got a crazy life just like mine, then I can do this too. Now, the follow-up is that third area. When you have that kind of trust, you know what it's like. Like my wife, she's a, a stay-at-home Christian homeschooling mom. <laughs> she can talk to other Christian homeschooling moms till the cows come home, right? Because they've just got that initial bond. So all of a sudden, those, those kind of awkward, embarrassing kind of situations you get yourself into where you're trying to create that trust in that, in that relationship, that just goes away. Now, a lot of people say, Steve, this sounds really good, but you know, that sounds really limiting. My goodness, right? So Mary, she only goes after diabetic women. There's an entire universe of people out there that she could attract to her business. Well, I'm going to talk about that because it is anything but limiting, okay? When we talk about a niche market, a perfect customer for your business online, we're talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands. This is anything but limiting. This is absolutely liberating. So this is literally, this just came out. This is from eMarketer. They're, they're an IBM company, and they had this roundup they came out with. And it says, the right message, the right time, the right target. Now, look at this. Technology-driven actions that executives worldwide are taking to meet their customers' needs. The very first one up here is personalized marketing. If you're trying to be everything to everybody, then you're, you're going against the grain of the number one thing you should be doing in your business, which is personalizing your business and gaining so much power as a result of that. Now, I don't want you to take it just from me or Jen or Mary or Mark or the, the teacher, the music teacher, Amanda that I talked about before. All of this is marketing 101 fundamentals. You could go to any library, get a book on marketing, and they're going to talk about the perfect niche is the absolute first way to start. So here's an article from Inc. Magazine, how to narrow your target market. Companies that try to be all things to all customers are sure to fail. Here, if you go to Google and you just type in Wikipedia, target market, this is what comes up. A well-defined target market is the first element to a marketing strategy. Now, here's a recent podcast that I attended, and this is Seth Godin. If you don't know who Seth is, he is one of the world's foremost experts in marketing. He's written over 14 different books in marketing. And the whole notion of this podcast was how to think small to go big. Because a slice of the marketplace that is, you know, defined, that is online where you can reach absolutely everybody in your territory, guess what? That is absolutely liberating because it is huge. It is ginormous. It is a pool of people larger than you ever thought possible of, you know, tactically being actually able to reach out to and touch. So, 
Here's a, one more thing. I want you to write this book down if you can. Blue Ocean Strategy. I'm going to tell you the basic premise of this book and why I'm bringing it up right now. But here the subhead says how to create uncontested market space and make your competition irrelevant. This is a bestseller. Over three and a half million copies sold. So here's the basic premise. There are red oceans and there are blue oceans. Red oceans are red from the battle of competition. Really, the, the little the fight that you put yourself right into the middle of. And if you're trying to be everything to everybody, A, not only are you not differentiating yourself from every other rep in your company, but anybody in the whole world that competes in the same space with the same products and things that you sell, you are putting yourself right. You're choosing to be in the reddest of red oceans. Now, let me give you an example from one of the case studies I was talking about earlier. Uh, Amanda. So Amanda Howland, she's the music teacher. So she decided, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to create uncontested market space. I'm going to define my market as just music teachers. And then I'm going to be the only company that as a music teacher is approaching them. So she literally created a blue ocean for herself. Now look at this. This is a message that she got. She does online product groups as well, where you've got to buy product to get into and run a challenge. And you, they use the product. You teach them to use the product, and they, they become evangelists that way. It's really great. So anyways, this is a woman's name, Shauna. She said, I think the part that really drew me in was that you're a music teacher also. Do you see the power in all of this? And the bottom line is, it's all based on marketing fundamentals. Like I said earlier, there's nothing you're going to hear tonight that isn't really smart marketing ideas applied to your direct sales business, applied online. So um, Amanda, she went on to say, you know, before yet it was long and arduous process, you know, developing these relationships. And I felt gross and salesy, like I was scraping to get by. Now I have customers coming to me every month, new recruits joining my team in a community of super like-minded ladies who get me. That's what I want for your business. So here's the first must-have action step. Find your perfect customer description. Okay, now here's some tips. Are you in the middle of this description? And by the way, I have never worked with a rep that we couldn't find a perfect target market niche that they were right in the middle of. I get so many people say, this is such a great idea, Steve. I'm pretty boring. <laughs> you know, I just do my thing. I guarantee you we can help. And some of these tips are going to help right now. But I'm going to say no broad demographics. So I got a lot of reps coming in. They say things like, you know, Steve, I want to target uh, busy moms. I'm a busy mom. I want to help busy moms. Well. I don't know a mom that isn't busy these days. It's the sad state of, of our society. So you're basically targeting all moms there, right? So no broad demographics. Think about, are you passionate about helping this niche? Because if you're not passionate about it, right, you're not going to be good at it. Think about jobs that you have or have had, life stages you're in, interests, problems overcome, family dynamics. Let me uh, give you an example of that. Uh, let's say that you have an autistic child. Let's say that you're a mom of an autistic child and you want to reach out to other moms of autistic children. That's a fantastic niche. They would look at you and say, you are an insider. You get it. You get my life of raising this wonderful person that the rest of the world sees in a very, very different way. Right. So this is just I'm telling you, this is bringing so much power to your business. And I got more examples coming up here. All right. So just from what we've gone over so far, I'm going to give you five benefits to your business. First one, you get the perfect leads finding you. So here's another rep. And she literally spent some I told you I was going to say how low cost these ads are. So she suffers from PCOS. So she reaches out to other women that have PCOS. And she spent $27 on an ad campaign to drive people to a free group where she just helps people in her niche. Right? She just makes them feel better. She gives it's like giving some tips. Right. And so and she designs that group once and she uses it over and over and over again. So in a day and a half spending twenty eight dollars, she got ninety six people into her free group. <laughs> and I said, do you mind if I use it on this presentation? You know what you just did? She said, well, sure thing. Thank you for all the help so far. It feels good to be excited about my business again. And I said, well, one last question. Is it easier finding and attracting these people? In other words, was it harder to find and fill the groups before? 
because before she started reaching out with a perfect customer niche strategy, she was trying to be everything to everybody. And she says, well, it is. It's easier because I'm not talking to everyone, just a niche. So I'm connecting with the right people before I was trying to connect to everyone and getting a few people. This is definitely the most people I've had in a clean eating group so far. So that's what she does. She teaches people how to start eating clean and cleansing their bodies. So benefit number two engagement skyrockets, not only in the groups, but on your Facebook page, you know, your relationships, people getting back to you, the whole conversion process. Here's an example, though, where we were just kind of extending what, what Sammy did. How has the engagement been in the group versus other groups from before? Oh, night and day. It's almost funny. And I'm more excited about it. I definitely lost my passion with a lot of groups that flopped. And everyone is so supportive of one another because everyone gets what everyone else is going through. Now, here's another rep, Monica, member of the university. I just started up a new like page with a new niche, running a free group with 140 people. Engagement is great, feeling positive and excited. So here's the third benefit. So we showed one example of the low cost here, right? So these are low cost ads, Facebook ads, all right? So here's Kristen. She's another rep, and she said, I had 71 people fill out the form on my website, and 43 people actually add themselves to the group. She's doing a free group as well. Now, she's a Christian teacher. She spent $11. So let me explain what happened here. So she got – she – created a Facebook page. You have to have a Facebook page in order to do advertising because Facebook separates church and state. And they say your personal profile, that's for personal, right? But if you're going to do business on Facebook, you got to open up a Facebook page. Very easy to do, just like you could open up your personal profile. So anyways, she boosted, she put up a post on her Facebook page and she boosted it. She got in front of her Christian teacher niche. Those people read it in their in their news feed, clicked on the link that was on her boosted post. It went over to a page on her website or a blog. And I'm going to tell you right now, a blog is going to be a number of uh, one of the top five must haves in order to do all of what we're talking about here to even have a business, legitimate business online. I'm going to talk a lot more about that. But they went to a page where there was just a form to take advantage of the free group. And then once they filled out that form, Christian, guess what? She got their name and email address. She got one-on-one -on -one communication capabilities. And that automatically, after filling out that form, got sent to a thank you page on her blog that said, oh, here, click through and join the group. And all this is super, super easy to do. I mean, everything that we're talking about here is newbie friendly. You don't have to have any big technical backgrounds. I make a living working with people that are overwhelmed when it comes to doing a lot of things and doing things online and technically. And you don't have you can start from scratch. You don't have to have any any background in anything like that. So I just want to say that as we're kind of going through everything here tonight. So anyways, but she spent $11. Now look at this. This is the bottom of her boosted post. This is a Christian teacher tagging other Christian teachers. I mean, how often does that do on any post that you have, let alone one that is actually an ad for your business, an irresistible offer you created to attract your perfect leads to you and your business? And by the way, her niche of Christian teachers was over 400,000 strong online when she created her Facebook ad audience. So when I say that you have a never-ending capability to recreate a warm audience that has trust and credibility with you from the start, this is what I'm talking about. Now, benefit number four, really great content. So when you're speaking to people who are just like you, you don't have a lack of anything to say. You don't have a lack of content that you could create. Let me show you an example here. So uh, this is Rep. Linda Hopkins. She's a daycare provider. So she created a Facebook page for daycare providers. So Daycare Providers Unlimited. Now look at this, 780 likes, 96 comments, 232 shares. And this is an unboosted post. Let me just read it to you really quickly here. Here's to you, daycare providers, to you who kisses boo-boos and wipes tears, who cleans butts with flair and catch, catches puke with glass, who gives comfort to scared little hearts and drinks pretend tea when it's given to you, who wipes noses a million times in one day and reads the same story over and over again, who takes criticism but keeps smiling even though you're hurt and works long hours even though you're tired. Here's to you, daycare providers, who give of yourselves every day and understands you are here to love, provide, and protect. 
There's no way that you could write that kind of compelling content if you were trying to be everything to everybody. And remember I said engagement across the board goes up. Look at the engagement on that post. She spent no money on this. This was on a page that was two weeks old. She created a page for her niche. Two weeks later, she put this up, and this is the kind of response that she got. Now, here's another quicker example. Still 787 likes, 127 comments, 205 shares. This was doing so well, I said, well, with it, boost it. <laughs> and she was like $6 into her boost here. Um, has your daycare ever felt like a war zone? Mine has. This is daycare. <laughs> and you can imagine, right, from the daycare provider's perspective, as a parent, I don't want to think of it as a war zone, but I can see it from her perspective, right? She's an insider. She gets it. She understands it. That's why you can create content all across the board, including your offers that are so compelling to the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that are in your perfect customer niche. There's benefit number five, huge time saver. If you've got people coming to you based on just putting up a low cost Facebook ad. Think about how much time you spend in the business now, just trying to find more people to talk to. Bottle up all of that time. And now what I do, what I want you to do is spend time interacting with the leads that come to you, closing them, creating ongoing content that shows that you are in service of them and providing value. Content, relationships, closing, that's what you should be spending your time doing, right? Not just trying to find people to talk to. So Mary, who we talked about earlier, said the best part of all this now is that I have a target market, my brand, my Facebook ad plan. I don't worry about getting leads every month. That happens consistently now. Now, here's what she said about having a perfect customer niche. There's something magical about finding your niche of people, your ideal customer, your challenger. She does. She calls the people that join her free group or her paid group because it's a challenge group. I'm going to challenge you to take buy this product. and We're going to go through this together and see the amazing benefits to you in your life. She says, all my new friends get it. Uh, if I'm feeling it, they're feeling it or felt it or relate to it. It's a beautiful feeling to really connect to people instead of feeling like you're shoving something down their throats. We don't want you in your business thinking or feeling that way. So you're probably saying, okay, well, where do I start? <laughs> Hopefully this, you know, raise your hand here if you're thinking or nod your head if you're thinking, yep, this sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty intuitive, right? Well, we've got four what I call code cracking success phases that we have in the university. And I'm going to take you through them right now so you can actually see what is it going to take? What am I going to need to do in order to have these kind of successes? And by the way, all the successes we've been talking about here and so many more happen in the first 30 days of applying the five must-have action steps. And we've only gone through one action step, by the way. So we got a lot more coming up. All right, so here are the four code cracking success phases. Foundation, what's your foundation you gotta put into place? Content creation, including your offers, lead capture, and then closing. Okay, so let's go to the first one, foundation. Your perfect customer, right? That's the new compass for your business, right? Everything that you do is in service of them. Now, nine out of 10 get this wrong because you know what? It's not intuitive. Mary, the diabetic woman, she didn't come into the university thinking, oh, I'm going to target other diabetic women. Uh, Mark, he did the rep, Mark uh, Hildebrand, he didn't come in thinking, oh, I'm going to target other coaches, right? So it's not necessarily an intuitive process. And then finding them, then getting the right ad audience and putting it together correctly. There's just a million things you can do wrong here, right? As simple as this notion is, we don't want you to get it wrong. We want, this is the foundation. If you don't pick the niche right at the beginning, everything else is dependent on that. So that's why it's the first must have action step. We've talked about all of these uh, niche examples, right? Perfect customer examples. Well, here's one, uh, ICU nurse. <laughs> Not only just nurses, but critical care unit nurses. There's enough of just them online that if you're an ICU nurse and you're dealing with people that are on their deathbed and having to give and take care of the families that come in are so worried, you know, that's not a job. That's like a lifestyle, right? You know, if you can appeal to just them, do you see how powerful that could be? Now, here's your must have action step number two. You are the brand, not corporate. And you know this intuitively, even though it's really easy to say, geez, look at the millions or hundreds of millions of dollars for years that corporate has been spending and the practically household name that they become. Well, 
here's the bottom line. When you start talking to anybody in, in your business and you give them a reason to take a step forward and become a part of what you're doing in your business, their trust and credibility has to be in you. You are the first line of defense. You are the biggest asset in your business. So the whole idea of picking a target market niche where you're right in the middle of, we are taking you as the asset, you as the brand, and giving you the best opportunity to succeed. Now, remember this, I think the best part or the part that really drew me in was that you're a music teacher also. This is the power. Now, here's must-have action step number three. Oh, boy, write this one down, okay? And I'm going to spend just a few slides here showing how important, how powerful this is. But success is based in emotion. We make decisions as humans based on emotion. So this is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Every basic human need is on this pyramid. And we've all heard it, right? Somewhere, school, somewhere. We've all heard about this. But look at this. Every need here is based in emotion, except for the very bottom one. Physiological needs, food, shelter, water. But you got safety and security, love and belonging, self-esteem, self-actualization. If you're not helping your perfect customer niche achieve one of these emotionally based basic human needs that they need help with, then you're playing with one hand tied behind your back on your business. This is Harvard Business Review, the new science of customer emotions. Now, look at this. Most fail to align themselves with the emotions that drive their customers' most profitable behaviors. What are your most profitable behaviors? It's selling product and bringing people onto your team. So we need to connect the emotional triggers that will get those profitable purchase and joining behaviors happening at a much greater rate in your business. They go on to say you don't need to have the emotional DNA of a Disney or an Apple to succeed. You could be a cleaning product or a canned food company. You certainly can be a rep appealing as a business to other people who are just like you. You understand the emotional DNA like nobody else. Here's Nielsen, the TV ratings people, also a very well-respected worldwide research organization. We're ruled by our emotions, and so are the ads that we watch. It's no secret that emotions are central to advertising. They're at the heart of the relationship we have with brands. They drive our non-conscious decisions and play a major role in our conscious decisions, too. So let me give you an example of how this plays out tactically. OK, so remember Mary, who gets way over 200 leads every single month from her perfect customer niche, a cold market, other diabetic women she's never, ever even met before. So her number one unmet emotional need of her niche is even my own family doesn't understand. She said, let me put it this this way to you, Steve. She goes, I'm a diabetic woman. My husband, he's not diabetic. My kids, they aren't diabetic. As much as they want to empathize with me, they cannot even come close to the depth of understanding how every waking moment this affects me. Everything I put into my mouth, I have to consider at such incredible levels. So this is the top of her boosted post from her Facebook page that she put out to her target market niche of other diabetic women. Hey, sugar mamas, let's talk. The reality of diabetes is it's overwhelming having to manage blood sugars while handling day-to-day -day responsibilities, taking care of our families and working every day. The people closest to us often don't understand what we go through to manage our numbers in our A1C. So when we, we look at what Harvard's saying and we look at what Nielsen's saying, we look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we want those profitable purchase behaviors to happen, which means we have to think about what those, emotionals, those emotional triggers are and then how to work it into everything that we do. So this is uh, Mary's blog, her website, okay? It's the must-have action step number four. Remember, I told you earlier this is going to be one of them, okay? Let me just do this for just a second. I'm going to, this is the top of the homepage, and we basically, we have a blogging service that we put together specifically for direct sellers, okay? And because a lot of uh, reps that we talk to have no idea how to start a blog, but yet, have a blog that literally just magically pops online that's so easy to use. Mary, who said, I don't have one lick of any technical sense, in one evening took the, her blog that popped up online, full with all kinds of content, nothing blank. Usually that's what happens. Everything's just blank. you got to fill in 100% everything. And she said, I just customized it.
And we recommend being a blogger. We don't recommend that you're like going to be writing these big, huge, long articles all the time. A blog is just another term for a website, but it does additional things. So it's a blog. It's a website representing your business. Let me just show you uh, what her homepage looks like. And we're going to scroll down it because you can see it's got the latest of technology. Things kind of move in the background so professionally. Here's another section on the homepage. Um, this is kind of like an about us section on the homepage. Things flying in. She has healthy recipes that she wants to give to her diabetic audience. Here are testimonials from people that are in the business. These are her blog posts. She says, I write about one blog post a week. I spend about 20 minutes on it. She says, I don't think about my blog anytime after that. But your blog is the referral center for everything that you do online. It is the, you have to have one place outside of, you know, the, the kind of static site that the corporate gives to you that is boilerplate outside of the social networks that change the rules all the time in terms of what you can put up and how it gets expressed. You have to control it. You have to own that. And it's the place that reinforces you and the trust and credibility in you that you started through those low, low cost ads. So let me do this. Let me kind of just go over just very quickly, then I go back into the training on what you get with this whole blogging service that we put together. A site does just pop up online. And it's got all kinds of industry niche focused content. The industry content we put on there, the niche content you put on there, because it's specific to you. We have landing pages and thank you pages. Remember Rep Kristen, where she sent people and they went to a landing page to fill out a form and they got forward to a thank you page? Now, this is huge. This remarketing right here in the middle, you have to have a blog to do this. So, what is remarketing? Well, let's just say you've ever you know, had an email address for a lead, right? And you emailed them more than once. You remarketed to them. So what now, what remarketing means, though, in this online world, there's a little code. It's called a tracking pixel that Facebook gives you. You just copy this code. You just copy it. You go over to your blog. You paste it in. You hit save. What you've now done, and we show you where to do that, um, what you've now done is anybody who comes to your blog can now be counted and put into a custom audience that even lower ads can be run against. They're even warmer audiences, right? Because like with Coach Kristen, there's all kinds of reasons. Everything you're doing, you're posting online, you're going to send people back to your blog, articles that you're writing on your blog. You're going to send people back to when you're talking to them and they have objections about buying or joining your team. When you have a target market niche, a perfect customer niche for you and your business, you can count on one hand the amount of top objections you're going to have. Answer them really well once. Put it up onto your blog. Do a video, do a post, whatever you are comfortable with, and you refer people there all the time because they're going to get the best answer ever, and you're going to save a ton of time not going deep into really trying to get into a why you shouldn't have this as a roadblock or an objection. You're going to be sending people to your blog. You're going to be creating custom audiences. You're going to be lowering your ad cost. You're going to be getting more return on investment out of it, and you're going to have total control over everything. You are the owner. You're the admin of this blog. There's even a team area, password protected team area. There's over $1,000 in extras that we put into this, and we support you 100%. Anything from, oh, how do I just get my logo up into the corner? And like, oh, how do I get a logo created? Well, we'll show you how to do it for $5 and get a really high quality one. So we know all the low costs, all the ways to do this. And we're going to answer every question you have, too, about how do we use this in our marketing, all of that. So let me go to the next phase here, content creation. This one's an easy one. I showed you, remember Linda Hopkins, the daycare provider, right? Everything that you do now can be so much more focused, so much more powerful, get so much more engagement out of it because you live that life. And coming up with ideas, we have reps that go around and they have like a, a in their purse, they'll have a, a notebook or they'll have, you know, on their smartphone, they'll start, you know, they'll go through something like, oh, that would make a really great post on my Facebook page or my blog, and they write these ideas down. They're never without an idea on content. Now, lead capture. This is what you're going to have to put together in order to not only attract, but capture these leads, okay? Here's the list. Facebook posts and ads. Yep, 
can have that, your boosted posts, those are your ads. Irresistible offers, like the example that we gave was, you know, free groups and challenger paid groups. But you could have downloads, you could have videos you give to people. You, your offers could be invites to parties, online parties, shows. You know, the world of opportunity is there. And then landing and thank you pages, the submission form. And we have a really great submission form top line professional. We bought a developer's license to it because it does absolutely anything you'd want a form to do. And it's super simple to use. Facebook groups, as an example, I'm telling you right now, you're going to want to really, really look hard and long at putting together Facebook groups where you can congregate and provide for free and get people to buy a product too as a result of joining them. And then that Facebook pixel, you just copy and paste. Now, Here's the other thing that you're going to want to do. I'm going to now explain this whole idea of messenger marketing. So you're ready? Lean forward. Lean in. <laughs> Remember this? It's, this is, it's an app, right? And it's messenger. You click on that, and it's just this inbox in an outbox, right? I want to change your mind about what messenger is. Think about it more as like a, a page on a website, where you can do almost anything you want to there, right? You can put in buttons and links and pictures and videos, and you can sell stuff. And I mean, the whole world of interaction is available there because there's been really smart developers that had to know that kind of stuff, that techie stuff, that created web pages and websites. So you can do all that interactive stuff. Well, Facebook has created a development platform on Messenger. So now you don't have to know any tech stuff, but you can do all those kinds of things. Let me give you an example here. This is Mark Zuckerberg, right? CEO, founder, everything of, of Facebook. This is him at their last developers conference and their 10 year roadmap. And look at this messenger is right in the heart of it. Here's why. Messaging apps are huge. This is growth. Global Messenger monthly activity users, this is from just Facebook Messenger, has gone from 2014 up to 1.2 billion monthly active users. You want to be a part of this conversation. Your perfect customer niche is a part of that 1.2 billion active users. Now, look at this. This is really surprising. Messenger apps have overtaken the social networks. Monthly active users for top four social networks and messaging apps. And look at this. The messaging apps have more monthly active users now than the social networks do. So not only do you want to be a part of that conversation because your niche is in there, but it's where the most activity is happening. And you don't bring anybody into your business. You don't sell any product. You don't bring anybody as, in, as a team member unless you have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. So that's what you need to do, right? Now, this is eMarketer again, another study that they did. Look at this, data-driven marketing trends that uh, U.S. business-to-consumer marketers plan to embrace. Real-time personalization, again, personalized, right? This whole target market niche, perfect customer thing. App-based marketing. Messenger is an app, okay? So don't be like, I don't know what app-based marketing is. I'm going to show you right now what you can do without any technology background to use the 1.2 billion users on Facebook Messenger to your advantage. So remember I said you could do almost anything you can do on a web page? Like here, you can, you can book hotel rooms. This is inside a Messenger right now. Reserve this suite. And then once you do online, it sends you a message back in Messenger and it says, well, manage your reservation or here, check out our neighborhood guide or look at your stay preferences. Look at this. Here's somebody selling a T-shirt all inside the Messenger app. So let me give you an example now of how you can use this in your business. One of the things that you can do inside of Messenger now is automatically reply to comments that are happening on your Facebook page and send them into their message, their Messenger inbox, a reply automated. And it's what when you take advantage of this by creating a chat bot. It, all it is is just a little bit of technology. And there are third party companies that are super, super easy to use. You literally click, type something in, change the color, say I want it to be a button, hit save. It's super, super simple, right? So I don't want anybody getting overwhelmed with this, but it, you're going to create a chat bot. And it's going to auto reply to people. And when you auto reply to people, you start that conversation in Messenger, those 1.2 billion people. So here's an example. This is a, a, a 
Facebook page that I put up for testing. And I here's an example post. And I'm going to show you how a rep uses this specifically to drive business, okay? Hey, how many of you have tried to create a chat bot to help with auto commenting on your Facebook page? Comment yes or no below, and I'll send you a link to learn some really important chat bot marketing you can do right now. So I'm incentivizing people to comment, right? Because I know I can auto reply to comments. So when they comment, they're going to get a message from my page. Here's the page, right? And here I put a nice visual and image there I could have put a video there and then a message it says hey Steve now Facebook knows everybody's name <laughs> so you can personalize it hey Steve we just wrote a new blog post about a great new chatbot feature you won't want to miss and then I put two links in there take me there now or what is a chatbot well let's just say somebody clicks on the from inside their messenger they click on what's a chatbot and like they typed it out themselves they reply what is a chatbot that's what this blue area is right here and then I auto reply again. And here's what I auto reply to. Get started. Chatbots are cool new ways to do so much more to interact with your niche audience on your Facebook page and inside Messenger. Just click below to get more info and see how to get started. So that's kind of what can happen. But let me show you now how it actually is applied to the direct sales business. Okay. And remember, conversations are a must for conversions. This is an automated way to people in your perfect customer niche because I boost, you'll boost the posts out to your perfect customer. So you're getting in front of the right people, right? With content that appeals to them. So I'm gonna show you, I showed you the top of Coach Mary, her boosted post for her challenge group where you had to buy product, product, product pack to be a part of it. So why do you need a chatbot? Well, you wanna enter that conversation. You wanna create new con conversations, not just leads. I don't want you to accept just getting leads anymore because leads aren't any good unless you're in one-on-one -on -one conversations. So have you ever had problem, an issue with leads responding? Absolutely, right? That's what Jennifer started talking about right from the beginning. Now you can have conversations started with leads around topics you pick because it's your blog post and you're picking topics that are very, very important to your perfect niche. And you can instantly one-on-one -on -one message them because you can automatically reply at the perfect time. So let's say somebody comments on your boosted post at 5.30 at night. And you're Johnny on the spot because at 8.30 the next morning, you're replying to them. Well, when was the time that they remembered your post, why they got excited, why they wanted to comment? It was right as that was happening. But you can't possibly. You have to sleep. You have to eat. You have to drink. You have to take care of your family. You have to do all kinds of things, right? But now you can automatically reply at the perfect time for better response rates and more relationships. Let me explain what that means. When, some, when somebody comments, right, and you automatically reply to them, and they reply back, guess what happens? They become what's now called a subscriber of your Facebook page, just like you can have email subscribers. And you can then one-on-one -on -one message with them anytime. The only way from your Facebook page you were ever able to message somebody one-on-one -on -one is if they initiated the conversation. Now you're giving them the opportunity and the reasons why they should be initiating that conversation and replying with you. The only other way you can one-on-one -on -one message people on Facebook was through a Facebook friend request. And we all know the fallacy of getting just those accepted, right? Okay. So also, um, we're going to show you an example on the next page here of what um, Mary Van Dorn did, the rep Mary Van Dorn. But I get so excited about this because this is so groundbreaking here. But here's the thing. You know, I'm going to give you an analogy, right? So in email, the world of email, there's something called open rates and click-through rates. Open rates are how what percentage of the people opened the email you sent to them. And then what percentage of those people clicked on the call to action you had in the email? So open rates and click-through rates. Open rates in Messenger and click-through rates are four to five times higher. <laughs> so another thing you can do is when somebody becomes a subscriber, they replied back, right? Well, let's say, like Mary, she's just sent out, I think, it's called a broadcast. You can send not just one on one at a time, but you can send a whole me a message to all the people that are subscribers at once. So, like, you have, let's say you have 50 emails of, you know, leads. You can send an email out to all 50 at the same time, right? That's called an email broadcast. You can, e you can broadcast out to your subscribers, and it all goes into their messenger inbox. Pretty exciting stuff, right? Again, no tech skills needed, right? No, don't get on overwhelmed. This is just good, good stuff. 
So here's Mary, right? And this is the top of her boosted post for her paid group, her paid Facebook group. Here's the bottom of that post. Here's the image she used. She said, oh, get Sugar Mama Strong. Are you ready to get Sugar Mama Strong? Click here to join the group or comment below interested for more information. Now look at this, 79 comments, 67 shares, 612 likes, and this wasn't done yet. It went way over 99 comments, I think 99 shares. But look at this, people are coming to interested, 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 interested. Let me blow one of these up. This woman, Chappelle, she said, doing this now. Here's where it says Paige responded privately. That happened automatically because Mary created a chat bot that would automatically reply with what she wanted. And again, she has no technical background, right? This is easy, easy stuff to do. So here's her automated reply, just to give you an example. Hey, Donna, remember, Facebook can personalize this because they know everybody's first name. Thank you so much for your interest in my next challenge group. These groups are a game changer for us sugar mamas with big health fitness goals. So I can get to know you a little better. Please reply with what your biggest struggle is. Is it exercise or nutrition, exercise, motivation, all the above? And when they reply A, B, C, or D, they've initiated a conversation. They become a subscriber. All these benefits happen, right? Can't wait to chat with you. Oh, please click through to the group. Start with the pinned post. So she has a Facebook group. And on the top of that, she has a post that welcomes people. She pins it with instructions of what to do. So start with the pinned post. And be sure to take advantage of the free diabetic-friendly crockpot cookbook bonus. Bonuses are part of a marketing 101, incentivizing people to take actions that you want them to, right? That's a diabetic-friendly crockpot cookbook, so recipes that the whole family will enjoy. Do you see how things are getting really simple and very powerful when you have a target market niche? Okay, so look at the stats here, okay? Now, Mary, she spent at this point on that ad $138. You're saying, Steve, that's not very low cost. <laughs> well, you're going to prove this works, right? And you're going to start to up and up your budget, right? She didn't start out this way. But she got 92 leads out of this. They all know they needed to pay. So it was a part of her boosted post. 49 new messenger subscribers that she never had before. Right? These are people now that she can message right into their inbox that have engaged with her twice. They commented on her boosted post, and they replied already to her reply. When they commented, she sent a reply out, and they replied back. That's two engagements. They're already in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And can now she can contact them anytime and they can be part of a broadcast that she sends out. She did that for a Facebook Live that she did on, on her group. Now, the other day, and more automation, which is a good thing because it gives you more time and gives you more results. This got an 18 percent increase in leads for Mary. Now, here's a, a continuation of the stats, right? 92 leads. Let's say she closes one in six. And in her company, the product pack that she sells, that would be 15 sales. And if there's an average cost of about 160, she made 30 percent commission. That's $720, a five time return in a matter of days on what she spent. Plus she gets residuals, she gets recruitment opportunities, she could get people in the next month's paid group, and she didn't spend one minute cold calling, not one minute. Everybody came to her. Now this Facebook Messenger training is inside the university right now. Okay, so let's go through the fourth code cracking success phase. This is the last one. And here's the must have action step number five. It's the 80% plan. You wanna know what this is? Well, if you've been listening to Jen at all over the years, she talks about this. It takes five follow-ups to get 80% of sales. But the mo most of it, 44% of us only follow up twice. That is a huge gap that you're, you did all this work to get these leads, right? If you don't follow up right, which is why you need a client angel, you are going to miss all these opportunities. So you need to have a follow-up plan. That's what this is. And I'm going to go over a follow-up plan that Amanda Hamlin, that music teacher, that she uses. She uses all this stuff. I'm going to tell you, you are going to want to see this. There are going to be so many ideas you're going to gleam and use in your business immediately. But I promised that I was going to show you just if you want to get some support, 
if you want to become a member of the university, then let me spend just a couple of minutes here going over what you can do and what you can get. And then I'm going to come right back to all these incredible closing strategies and how you can get that Facebook like ads training for free. So this is the complete A to Z blueprint for creating a wildly successful team online with the perfect leads finding you, creating a never ending more market from your niche that already trust you and in progress conversations from the start. Pretty good, right? So here's another rep, Nicole Buchanan. She sold over $5,000 in product in her first month with the university after zero product sales the two months prior. Zero. Here's uh, police officer Mark Hillebrand. From the initial emails we exchanged years ago, I've always followed your advice, Steve. And now I'm looking to shorten my retirement plans by more than 10 years. He's the gentleman that makes $50,000 a year. And he is considered an all-star legend with his corporate office based on what he's been able to accomplish and has been that designation, that status for years now. This is not theory. <laughs> this is proven. And this works so well in the direct sales industry. So we take these four code cracking success phases and we break it up into a fast track program and a little bite sized chunks. You do it on your own time. It's all available online, but then we help you answer questions at any stage. So you do this at your own pace. Now there's one more critical success resource that I want to take you through. Five times throughout the year, we do boot camps where we take a really important subject matter in marketing and we dive deeper than we are already going in the university. So here are two. I'm going to show you how you can get advantage. With a university membership, you can get these two boot camps tonight. The first one is the Facebook Never Ending Leads Boot Camp. It starts next month. And oh my gosh, if you like what you've been hearing so far, wait till you hear what we talk about in the boot camp of what you can do with Facebook. And the Social Media Secrets Boot Camp, we just finished that. There's five webinars. And this is the perfect time to be getting this because we talk about creating the irresistible brand for you. We talk about creating irresistible offers. We talk about creating the irresistible you. This is all subject matter in these boot camps. Uh, Rep Angel, she said, woo, the camp boot camps are amazing. Pamela said, thank you, Steve, for all that you do to help us. The boot camp webinars are worth far more than I paid. Thank you for making it affordable. So here's what you get. 100% proven plan for years in the direct sales industry. 25 fast track steps. The all new Facebook Messenger marketing gets you into one-on-one -on -one conversations. Facebook never ending leads boot camp, social media secrets boot camp, all questions answered, all available now, all online. Now here's what you're going to create. Here's the short list. You get involved with us, you're going to create your irre irresistible story, your brand. You're going to create a perfect customer niche. We're going to help you validate that audience so that you know you're going in the right direction before you start. We're going to help you identify those emotional triggers that are the predecessors to the really important purchase behaviors, the profitable behaviors, bulletproof prospecting plan. While you're putting this into place, when you have a target market niche, oh my goodness, we have a whole series in the university that shows you how to prospect to find these people on all the top social networks. There is never a lack of people to talk to. I guarantee you, you will never ever in your business have a lack of people to talk to again. And the rinse and repeat irresistible offers that you create once and then you use over and over again, Facebook attraction ads, how you put it together from top all the way to bottom so that you create that trust and credibility with a cold market just through a Facebook ad. And then all the right call to action strategies to get them raise their hands and saying, I want to be a part of what you're doing and giving you the most opportunities for one-on-one -on -one follow up, And then social proof, how you can create what those behaviors, those profitable behaviors, when people actually start buying product, joining your team, how do you take that and put it in the path of people who are just making the decision? That's proof. And then how this is a duplicatable system that anybody in your team can use. So I'm going to give you three bonuses if you join the university tonight too. The first one is a swipe and use, a copy and use file is to use from all your social media profiles because when you're reaching out people online the very first place they can check you out is the profile not social network this is the secrets to what your niche wants and what you need to include in a perfect profile and then bonus number two a seven part ad template we show you every single element of what goes into an ad so that it doesn't actually look like an ad it looks like a boosted post from a friend right because you're in the niche themselves you're helping them out so there's an intro section a reality section a transition section of what you're looking for what you get call to actions urgency and scarcity 
How do you create urgency? How do you create scarcity around your business? And do all this and not make it feel like an ad. Now, the third one is the music teacher, Amanda Howland. I'm going to give you her entire six-stage closing script process. And in just a few moments, I'm going to go over what all six of those stages are. And in stage number two, she has interview questions that she gets them. She gets them answering questions that literally has the leads closing themselves. What we say down at the bottom here, and she closes one out of every three new leads. And those are leads that came interested about buying product. So these are very, very high level leads. And she closes one out of three of them. Now, also, if you were during our presentation here or class tonight, if you choose to become a part of the university, there's a fast action bonus. Everything is dependent on finding that perfect customer niche, right? So we're going to give you a guide how to discover your perfect customer, a step-by-step -step avatar guide. And we're going to have a question and answer, a live question and answer at the end here. It'll go all the way through there, and I'll even extend the fast action bonus for 15 minutes after we get offline. Because I want you to pay attention to what we're, what we're talking about here. So all these bonuses are worth $1,820. So there's two wildly successful choices to get involved in the university, a success pack or a go-getters pack. And they're only available for tonight. You can't get them anywhere else. Success pack, you get the Facebook Never Ending Leads Bootcamp. It's a $200 value. You get one month free of the university to try everything out. And we give you the social media prospecting made easy series that's in the university that allows you to start instantly prospecting, meeting new people online tonight. So $129 in savings, $1,800 in bonuses, $1,900 in value. You get it for $97. Now, the other way is the go getters pack. You get that, you get everything the success pack had, plus what's there in blue. Now, anything worthwhile, you have to work, right? You have to give it time and you have to refine it. So we give you 90 days, 90 days of the university with one of those months free, 90 days of the blog service with one of those months free. Remember blogging? That was part of the must have action steps. Access into a private Facebook group. We are starting up a brand new private Facebook group with others in the direct sales industry that are all saying, I want to learn social media marketing. I want to put these must have action steps together. I want to bring this all together for my business and it's such a supportive community and I'm going to be there every day my team's going to be in there every day and then the next one here is just super super special you're going to get my personal support and recommendations on what you do you're going to say Steve here's what I think my niche is and I'm going to give you my feedback and you're going to say well, here's what my brand and my unmet emotional needs are and I'm going to give you my feedback here's my audience on Facebook did I put it together right here's my ad did I put it together right I'm going to look over the shoulder on everything that you do and I'm going to make recommendations based on working with over 8400 direct sellers in the past I know all the mistakes. I know what works. You could spend thousands of dollars on a program and it's 100% do it yourself. You will never have somebody personally looking at what you are doing. And then I'm going to throw in the social media secrets boot camp with the go getters pack. So you save over $2,300, $1,800 in bonuses, $4,100 in value. So here's where you go tonight. You go to practicalsocialmedia.com forward slash success. You can't find it anywhere else online. You can't find these deals anywhere else. They're only good for tonight. Practicalsocialmedia.com forward slash success. Now, there's a money-back risk-free guarantee, too. Try it out for seven days. I mean, take me up. I just made a huge offer to you. Ask me a question and see. Steve promised he'd get back to me individually. See if I do, right? And get into that group. See the interaction. See the support. Get into our first fast-track step. See if it makes sense. Right. See if everything we we were talking about here online actually comes to fruition. If you do that and you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. No questions asked. OK, so let's do this. It's your time. <laughs> right. It's time to make a decision here. And as you're making a decision, I'm going to go over Amanda's highly successful closing strategies. The one that closed one out of three new leads that knew they came in knowing they needed to buy and how to get that successful like ads made easy. So while you're thinking about this, today only, right, right down at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see the practicalsocialmedia.com forward slash success. Oh, I just went off the screen. Let me get it back. Okay, so let's go over here. Here's what we're going to do. So these are the different areas of things that Amanda does, okay? Now, 
when she gets people into that challenge group, the one you have to pay, she creates a free group that she calls a community group that she puts all the leads into. And she posts in that group leading up to the start of the paid group. So the people that are on the fencers, that are leads that haven't purchased yet. She also, the, the groups that she does online that are just free here, music teachers, we're doing this five day group, come join us. That runs in that community group too. So it's all of her leads that are in there. And she posts in front of them right before her paid group starts. And then all these different things. Let's just go through. Them. So here's the examples of some of the posts she puts into that, that free community group. Ladies, here's my big secret. I wasn't going to tell you until the group, but this is a serious epidemic amongst music teachers. Remember, she's a music teacher. So she's giving value in the free group. It's everybody's thinking, oh my gosh, if she's giving this much value in the free group. What's going to happen in the challenge group, the paid group? Who else has concerts coming up? What are your biggest stresses about them right now? And then she links people over to her blog, right? But further indoctrinating that she's one of them. She gets that. She understands their lives. And then she gives them an idea, an opportunity. She said, I'd love to share my story with you so you all can get to know me and what I'm truly all about here. Now, here's social proof. <laughs> what she does, everybody who buys a pack and gets into that challenge group, she creates a little post and she posts it into the community, that free group with all the people that are on the fence that are still deciding. Look at this. Uh, congrats, Sarah, for deciding to commit to both the seven-day and the upcoming day 30-day challenge. Welcome to the group. Our hundredth member is Patience Jones. So what she's doing is she's proving that others are – taking advantage of those profitable behaviors that Harvard talked about that are triggered by emotion. She's basically taking them and putting them in the path of those that haven't made their decisions yet. Brilliant strategy. Now, her follow-up plan. I said, you know, remember the 80% plan, right? That takes eight, five follow-ups to get 80% of sales. So what's your follow-up plan? You know, how often do you follow up with who? What do you say? When do you stop? She says, I follow up with everybody and not just in the group, Right. So many people will get people into a group and they're like, oh, great. That's where all my interaction is because I I interact with them in the group and outside. And I do with everybody, even if they haven't replied to my last message. And so here's why I want to show support. I want to show them that I am here in support of them, me personally. And me following up with them is the start of doing that. She said, and I'll do that all the way through when like that paid group starts and it's in full swing because the last follow up I do, I send them a message and I say, hey, if you wouldn't mind, I'm really trying to make this group for music teachers. I'm trying to help music teachers out. Could you give me a little bit of insight why you didn't take advantage of this or, or maybe what I could do better? And, and, and help music teachers just like us. And she gets people coming out of the woodwork that hasn't, haven't replied yet. And they say, oh, I'm sorry. Life's so busy. I've gotten all your messages. Thank you so much. I would like to take advantage of this. So you never stop, right? That's the bottom line. Now here, engaged challengers. Love, 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 love this. So the people that buy, right, they get into that group. She has them create a why video. Why did they take advantage of this and how this, they think this is going to impact their life? And then she posts those why videos. She has them posted into that free group. She's like, I've got women that are crying in these why videos. And everybody the, on the fencers are seeing every bit of it. You got to do that. So here's the six stage closing process. OK, and if you get that bonus, you get the scripts that go with every single one of these. And in step number two, they interview questions that have leads closing themselves on the next page. I'm going to bring up her top four interview questions. I'm going to show them to you. But stage one is initial communication to the lead, the challenger lead, because she runs those challenge groups. Right. That's just one example. Right. These closing processes, they work whether you're bringing people onto their team, whether you're inviting people to an online party. You know, they work beautifully. There are scripts that you fill in. And then second, start asking these interview questions in order. Step three, end with the message that assumes the sale. I love that one. Recommend a specific pack, product pack. Share the link to buy and then start finding objections. Now, let's look at her top four questions. If you get that bonus, you get all 12 of her questions and all the scripts for all of this. So here are some of her questions. What is your greatest strength or weakness for you when trying to do what? Give it to me as an example. Now, she picks 
a topic there that she knows she's going to be addressing in the challenge group. And they're going to all say, you know, nobody says, oh, yeah, this is a major strength of mine, right? She says, well, guess what? But that's a major strength of mine in this group. So I'm so glad you're in the right spot. Why do you want to work with me? She goes, I know why. I'm a music teacher. They're music teachers, right? But she wants to remind them of how special. Remember this blue ocean strategy, how special this is. If you decide to do nothing, how will your current lifestyle status affect you in the next year? She has them project out. And she says, if you don't go through this challenge, you don't take advantage of this, and you don't try to reach and succeed with the why, the unmet why in your life, then they look at it and they go, oh, that's not where I want to be. Now, on the reverse, it says, if you were able to accomplish your goals on XYZ today, how would you be living your life differently in the future? Now, she has them projecting out success. I would have you go back to this one right here. If you decide to do nothing, how will this current lifestyle status affect you in the next year? If you do nothing different in your business, where is your business going to be a month from now, six months from now, a year from now? If you don't apply these marketing fundamentals in your business that just make such intuitive sense, where are your business? Where are you going to be? Okay, here's that, that training, the incredibly successful Facebook like ads made easy. Get your pen and paper out, write down this link. Because the next slide, we're going to go into our live Q&A. All right? But write down practicalsocialmedia.com forward slash successful hyphen Facebook hyphen like hyphen ads and then the password is dollar sign like ads dollar sign and it's lowercase in the middle there dollar sign like ads dollar sign practical social media.com forward slash successful hyphen facebook hyphen like hyphen ads and you get right into that okay and feel free to share it i want you to be able to share that with your team as well okay now remember through the Q&A, and for 15 minutes after we get off, we're going to go and we're going to give you, if you take advantage of a university member, a success pack or a go-getters pack by going to practicalsocialmedia.com forward slash success, tonight, you'll get this perfect customer guide. All right? Okay, let's do this. Go to your go to webinar control panel and click down into the questions area. And if you have questions, and I know you have tons of questions, right? Because you can't go through a presentation like this, and oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm, I, I just know, written on virtually here, if there's just all kinds of ideas popping out in your head, all right? So what I want you to do is go to the questions area and start putting your questions in. And Jen, you're still online, right? We'll answer questions. Um. Yeah. I'm right here. Yeah. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do, uh, well, let me just see. There's, there's a few questions that uh, I want to address um, right away. One, what was, what was that last website? <laughs> I got lots of people that are saying I didn't have the time to write it down quick enough. Um, down at the bottom of the screen here is an email address. If you didn't write it down, just send us an email, customer service at practicalsocialmedia.com, and we'll make sure that you get that link. We want you to have that training. Absolutely. So here's a question. Um, that I love. I see this. This is I, I love the enthusiasm behind this. <laughs> Are you ready for this one? What if I have two niches? Can I go after two niches at once? And you think, wow, you know, double the pleasure, right? This will be fantastic. I'll go after two. I'll have twice as much success. Well, I'm going to answer this question very, very emphatically and very directly. Do not <laughs> go after two niches at the same time. Here's why. You know, you can't do two things well you know, at the same time. And everything you do, you know, you saw the examples and everything here tonight, is that when you go after a perfect niche, everything that you do is in service of that niche. So the, the niche audience itself you pick, the Facebook ad audience, you know, the blog that you create, the name of your Facebook page, the ads that you create, everything, all of your offers, free downloads, the content you put onto your page, it's all there for your perfect niche, right? So the last thing that you're going to want to do is try to create two entire marketing campaigns at the same time. So I asked this of Mary and Mark and Amanda, the, the case studies you were seeing here tonight. And I said, what are your thoughts on this? And they said, oh, my goodness, you're, you're just never going to turn back. You're never going to look back. And I'm so busy with the niche that I'm at. They said, I guess at some point in the future, right, you know, 
you might be so successful. You're getting, you know, uh, uh, an assistant and admin in your business. And you're like, let me, that's a well-oiled wheel. Let me try to do another one there. That would be a time to think about it. But right now, my recommendation would be if you've got two niches that you're thinking about, I would think about two things. One, which niche are you most passionate about? And then which niche validates best? Which niche can you make sure that you can find congregating online? And we help you do that validation. But if you can say, hey, which niche do I, am I most passionate about? Because I'll be better at that. And which niche validates best? That's going to give me right away. And we've got other, other choices and things for you to make. But right away, that's a really good way to say, okay, which way should I go? Now, I've got a lot of reps that uh, approach me and say, you know, I work this business with my husband, too. And, uh, you know, what I say is, you know, you can do it. And if he's working the business actively, then fantastic. But he's got to have the same niche as you. But let's say that you're a diabetic woman and, and, and he's a police officer or vice versa. You, you've got to both be in the middle of that niche in order for it to work. So hopefully that gives a lot of direction. I love, love, love that that thought. Um, but let's take a look at some of the other ones that are coming in here. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of stuff about uh, prices and what you get with the success pack and the go-getters pack. Everything, if you go to practicalsocialmedia.com forward slash success, then you're going to see everything listed on that page, what you get inside of each of those packs. If you still have any questions after that, put it into the questions box here, no problem, or go to customer service at practicalsocialmedia.com and we'll, we'll, we'll answer everything. All right, let me take a look at some of these other questions. Uh, oh, well, somebody's asking, well, Steve, what if I already have a blog? If you've got a blog and you know how to work it and it's not overwhelming for you and I'm fantastic, use it. You know, you want to get the go-getters pack? I'll, I'll back out the blog portion of that for you. No problem. The, the important part here is that you actually have a blog. It's one of the, the, remember I talked about, you have to have a place that you control online. It's where you reinforce all of your trust and credibility. It's where you refer people to answer the questions, get, you know, all of your offers. You can create those remarketing audiences, all of that. So you have to have a blog. So if you've got one, fantastic. You just need one, right? That's why we created, I, I worked on the original blogging service years ago with a founding member, top, top performer, number one performer in her um, organization. And we've been perfecting it ever since with all kinds of direct sellers. So if you want to have it, then fantastic. You can get it tonight. If you've already got one, no problem. N not at all. Uh so, what does the hey, can I pop in for a second? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I was just, I was, you know, obviously listening to everything that we were talking about, and I'm, I'm imagining that some of the ladies are trying to figure out, you know, hey, I sell uh, makeup, or I sell, um, you know, uh, pampered chef, or something like that, you know, a lot of what the direct sellers have to sell. These are all things that anybody can do in any market that you're selling. And so with the music teacher, that was, you know, selling the, I think it was Steakology or something that she was selling, you know, what she was reaching out in the niche had nothing to do with her product. She was just finding something that she had in common with other people. And then she was selling them in the product through that after she'd already built that relationship. So, you know, let's say you, you sell makeup or whatever, you can find something that you do and correct me if I'm wrong, Steve, you can find something that you do that's, that's specific to you. And then you can do the offer with, you know, a 30 day challenge on a, a face wash kit or, whatever it could possibly be, but don't limit yourself thinking, well, I sell such and such product, this probably wouldn't work for me. It will work for everything that anyone sells um, because really it's about building the relationships first. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, the, the whole notion of establishing relationships like, you know, Amanda did, you know, with other music teachers, the key here is getting more and more like I, Tons of people tell you stop recruiting, just create more friends, right? So this is a way that you you start the relationship out, just like with anybody else that you approach, right? You're just you're initiating a relationship, and then it's what you do with that relationship, and the fact that you have built in trust in that relationship already, then allows you to take it in a number of different directions. So like we've had. Um, other teachers that have created free groups that were um, about how to stay hydrated 
as a teacher it had nothing to do with the corporate products, nothing to do whatsoever. But teachers, I never really understood this, but she said, you know, the problem is we have kids in our class, you know, all day long. So we can't just get up and use the restroom. And on breaks or lunch breaks, we're returning emails, we're calling parents, we're, you know, you know, taking care of a situation that happened amongst two kids. We're trying to get a bite to eat. We never have time to use the restroom. And teachers go all day without drinking. She created a free group about how to stay hydrated as a teacher. So, you know, I see, um, uh, Layla, I don't know if that's the, how you uh, pronounce your name, but you, you, say you sell makeup, right? So, my goodness, what women look like and how you present yourself to the world, there's not a more important why <laughs> that you have. And not all women even know how to apply makeup correctly, right? So there are all kinds of ways that with a purchase of a product pack that you have, you can create a challenge group on how to use that product. Anybody sell a product in any niche, to, on it, whatever the products that you have that you're selling, you do that anyways all the time. You, uh, you teach people how to apply the product that you're trying to sell to them. All you're doing is formalizing this and kind of just lay it out, you know, in a series of a number of days. Maybe it's an eight-day or a two-week challenge, right? And you teach them the fundamentals of beauty and using makeup and looking great and feeling great, right? So Yes, yes. Yeah, so that you know, this applies. It's, I'm so glad that uh, you brought that up uh, because you know this is something that when I say you've got to put these offers together, anything in life is worth putting a little bit of effort into, right? As soon as you would have put together that makeup challenge, guess what? You now have that challenge. And you can use it every single month. That teacher that put together the hydration, free hydration group was five days. You know, absolutely. She now has that. It's in her bag. You know, Mary, she does a, a crock pot recipe group for her, uh, for her target market niche of diabetic women. She doesn't change it. In fact, every month she says, I even have all the posts already scheduled for each group. And I do the same group every single month. She goes, I don't spend any time thinking about my groups and my offers. I don't spend any time thinking about my posts. I spend all my time in there interacting. That's what I should be doing, right? Yeah. So absolutely. I can, I mean, just listening to you, I can think of a thousand different challenges for all the different products out there. Everything from, you know, makeup to scentsy candles to 31 bags. I mean, everything, you know, all, all of these things, you know, the Jamberry nails, the nail wraps or whatever, you know, those, there's so many different challenges. I mean, my mind is exploding with different things that these reps can do. And, you know, I know a lot of, a lot of people get into the direct sales business because they want to make a little extra money or they want to quit their full-time job or they want to do that. I can't tell you how valuable it was when I, when I got training that was already like done for me. Um, versus me trying to figure out how to Google things and grow my business myself and all of that kind of stuff. When I reached out and I found someone that already had done it and could cut out like 97% of my pain and my time, it, it catapulted my business. And so, you know, building a quick blog, some people, I know I can already read some of your minds thinking this is going to be overwhelming, but Steve, I'm, I know he has it broken down so incredibly easy for you that it literally won't take very long and look at the results and just a few of the people he talked about that you could get from doing this. And it's, it's how the future of the business is going to go. It's going to go through social media and we can already see it happening now with Facebook parties and all of that stuff. So I, you know, I, I can't say loud enough how might this stuff will actually improve and grow your business like crazy. Yeah. I mean, every success case study that we showed here happened in the first 30 days after joining the university. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it just can't be overwhelming, right? And these are all people <laughs> that have music teacher jobs, you know, they're they're police officers, you know, they these are people that already have extremely busy lives. So, you know, the bottom line is you do have to have just a success formula and you have to have it all laid out. And that's why we have that fast track where we just, you know, every every piece that you need to put together is a step one, a step two, step three. And we just walk you through it. If it takes you more time to do it than than others, fantastic, because right now is kind of a busy time for you. It's all at your own pace, right? The overwhelm factor should just go away because there's no race here to do this. The race is I want to be making more out of my business. I want to be helping people. I want to be making more money. I want to be helping my family, you know. So 
I, I see other questions that are coming in here, and I want to make sure that we get out by, uh, this is a, a schedule for an hour and a half, and I personally always don't like <laughs> webinars that just seem to go on and on and on, right? So I want to make sure we're getting um, out and everybody out on time. But uh, I see questions coming in like, what does the university cost for monthly access after the first month? So it's $26.99 a month for as long as you want to be a part of the university. So we make it that way because that way it's incumbent upon us to add value every single month to what you're doing or else we'll lose our membership, right? Our business. So we kind of like it that way that, you know, you've got to be seeing that you're getting a lot out of it. And if you think you've got it, you got the just down, you know, all you do is send an email in and you cancel. So $26 and 99 cents a month thereafter. And you get access, you get into that group, you get access to my team in there. You can send us one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, emails and I will respond to you. I will help you out personally. I don't know where you can get that for $26.99. We've really designed this to be about as irresistible as it can. Uh, so let's just see what some of the other questions are that we have just the last few minutes here. Um, oh, what kind of a so – there are lots of questions here about, you know, what kind of a challenge could I do? There are people that are, are selling handbags that are – you know, you do a fashion challenge. <laughs> you know, we're, the reason why – your corporate office is so successful and people that you see every day are so successful in your business because they have tied into an industry that is so important to the lives of the people that you reach out to. And fashion is a huge part of that. Beauty is a huge part of that. Skin care, huge part of that. Diet, nutrition, supplements, weight loss, you know, you can just go on and on and on and on. Every single one of you helps out your the, the people that you've already helped in your business. And now you're going to help people that are just like you. But they all have a why. Something why it's so important for them, right? Fashion, beauty, health, fitness, all of that. You see the examples, right? And it's very, very uh, easy to understand how the why is so important to them. So fashion is an example there. Um, oh, how do you figure out where your niche really is? So uh, Edna, I'm not sure I totally understand that question, but we figure, we, we help you find your niche online. We help you pinpoint it. And here's something I didn't talk about during the webinar, but Facebook has absolutely, it's the biggest, right? And it absolutely has the lowest cost ways. You could try to develop a whole social media following, right? You could do the same things we're talking about here. Nothing requires a big list that we're talking about. Nothing requires a big social media following because you're going to, you're going to get out in front of your people with these low cost ads. Now, Facebook has the absolute best way to pinpoint target anybody online because they know by what you do on Facebook and Instagram, by the way, that they know what you do and they formulate what interests you have. So you do what is called interest targeting. It's just fantastic. Jen, you've been involved in Facebook advertising. Yes, you use I, it for your business. Absolutely. I think that's what she was probably asking is how, like if I'm a music teacher, for instance, how am I targeting other music teachers? Well, you do that through the Facebook ads and you type in those interests and then Facebook finds those people for you. So don't think that you have to go out and find these people to market to. It's super simple through the ads and Steve will teach you how to do all of it. It, it literally, I can set up one of those in less than five minutes. And so it, it's incredibly easy and so very powerful. So Jen, let's do this for our last two minutes here. Let's, uh, each of us take just a moment uh, to close out, and I just want to thank everybody for spending their valuable time, because I know you've got a bazillion other things to be doing with your time. But hopefully, whether you whether you get involved in the university or not, I hope you learn things that are just fantastically helpful for you and your business. But I certainly would love the opportunity to be a part of your success 
and help you out personally and guide you through all of this. So that I think is something that you just can't get anywhere else. And if you can, let me know because I, I, I make that as a promise and I ask that on all classes that I do throughout the year. And I've never had anybody come back and say, yeah, Steve, I can get personal help and support for $26.99 a month here. <laughs> so I just want to let you know that we're trying to do something pretty special and we want to be we, we care about your success and we want you we want to be a part of it so jen i'll let you kind of close this out here for the last moments absolutely you guys um i hope i learned i learned if you should see my piece of paper it's got tons of notes all over it but uh it's one of those things that i think is amazing and what he has taught us tonight is how to take these action steps and keep rolling with it and little things that you can do in your business. But the Facebook Messenger marketing is something that is going to be huge for your business. And having him help teach you how to do that and set everything up. Again, once you get it set up, it's a plug and play. You keep doing it over and over and over again. And if you can imagine getting leads coming to you, that's one of the big things that you guys always say, you know, once I'm outside of my friends and family and all of that, what do I do? this is the answer to that. And so I encourage you to try it. Again, he's got the money back guarantee. Try it. See if you like it. He's there to help you. I talk to him all the time, so I know he's available to talk to you guys. So grab it. I, I just can't even tell you enough how much time and how much money you could probably make off of this, but how much time you can save by using the steps that he's already got built for you. So go and grab it now. Um, let me know how it goes. I, I think it's going to be fantastic for your business. All right. Well, thank you for coming, everybody, and we hope you have a great yeah. rest of your evening. Yeah, thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon. Good night.